yourselves. What you hold in your, in, what you hold in your hand tight, you lose. It's the things you let go to grow. You know, if God gives me something, you know, there was something that I was doing. And I asked God, what is the number? God gave me the number today of what to, what, uh, what to give. Amen. Because why Why is it easy and not the question why God would tell me to give that? Why? Because the way I got it was God. So if God gave it to me, why can't I listen to God to tell me where to send it or how to spend it? It's this order. Amen. We're not doing anything emotional. You know, it, 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 in, in Isaiah, one of, one of my favorite script, scriptures, the entire, uh, the, the entire chapter of 61, chapter deals with God's abundance flowing into the hands of God's people. Read it. Read it for yourself. It's in your Bible. You know, what's he say? Yea, ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, we shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, the liars, the stealers, and the glory shall boast yourselves in, you know, notice in Ecclesiastes how he says, you know, uh, uh, th that the strangers will eat the wealth of the rich, compare that with Isaiah 61, 5 and 6. You know, we have to see that God is God is moving by his spirit and um, and God is God is definitely um, um, talking to us uh, that he wants us. He wants us. My brothers and sisters, God wants us to be wealthy. God is trying uh, uh, to, to teach us, um, you know, that, you know, we don't have to be envious when I see prosperity of the wicked. You know, when I see when I see these people with their with their TV shows, their radio stations, their satellites. You know their their churches, their cars, and, and and whatever have you. Or you know you open up um your real estate company, your business, your hedge fund, whatever. You know um you know um we don't have to be envious of that because we're connected to God. And let me tell you something: what there's things that God gives us, there's no end to it. They're stop, amen. They're stop, and and in some cases. They're getting their rewards now. They don't have everlasting life. It won't come to them. Ask, look, if, if Jezebel, if Jezebel could speak to us right now, let me tell you something. In Revelation, listen, she would tell us he's saying the truth. You know, God has given us, he's given us so many different, um, so many different uh, um, signs to let us know that the wealth, the wealth is for us. Now let's listen to this. Let's go to uh, 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 what's it say in John and John John chapter twelve verse six. The second part of it says he was a thief and had the bag and bear what was put therein. You know, and we're talking about Judas. Jesus knew that Judas was a thief, and yet he never fired him. He didn't. He never got rid of them, and that's what happens with a lot of these people. I got a whole lot of people that I know, man, that are jumping up and down and screaming and doing all that stuff. And you know, I, you know, um, you ask them, you ask them, you ask them, hey, man, you, you know, brother, you got a word to share and this and that. Listen, and and, and they want to, they they want to promote something. Everything's about promoting, and so you understand that they're thieves. You know, and like I said, my buddy told me before, there's no honor among thieves. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus knew that Judas, Judas followed Jesus. So when I'm talking to y'all about some of these things about being hooked and being took and all this stuff, you got to realize that Jesus had a thief with him. And he knew it. So not only did Jesus need to have the finances necessary for the daily operation of his great ministry, but he needed to have enough surpluses to make up for that which Judas the Israelite was stealing. You see, he had Jesus had surpluses when he sent the disciples to go get goods and things like that. He had money, and he had to make a he had to have enough surpluses to uh, to. Take to 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 um to uh to make up for what Judas the Israelite was stealing. 
And that's what's going on in all these local assemblies. I'm trying to tell you. Now, I'm telling you, God is turning over some wealth. And you better believe, if you want to be so naive based on what I said and not believe that there's some thieves in some of these situations and circumstances and in some of these churches and some of these leaders, let me tell you something there. They're bag changers, they're money. I mean, look, at they're, they're, just, they're just money, 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 money. And listen, if you ask them for a tear sheet, and if you don't know what that is, that's a bank statement. If you ask them to see their tear sheet, one, they want to make it like it's private. Uh huh. And, and you, you, let me tell you something. There ain't gonna be a whole lot of zeros, that's for sure. I ain't saying no more. And that's what I'm trying to say to you. But when we get our tear sheet and it's connected to 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 Jehovah, to God and the things of His kingdom, you know that I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. I will rebuke the devourers for your name's sake. Seek me first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See, when you go to that point, there's something different. So we understand that Jesus, Jesus, He knew. He knew. And guess what? He was the treasurer. See, the treasurer that was walking with Jesus was handling the money, was stealing. And, and, and we got the same gimmicks and all that stuff. We, and listen, you got a bunch of people around you that are selling you out. They're selling you out to the enemy. They're, they're skimming off the top, the bottom, and in the middle, and they're selling you out. And, and, they're, and look, they got a problem understanding why you keep growing and why you maintain it. Why? Because you come from the stream of wealth of Jehovah. And never, ever have you seen Jesus begging or needing, talking about him needing food and this and that and hungry or, or, or going to going to Caesar to get food and bread. Oh, Shabbat. So when you go and you ain't got to go get no uh, access card and all that stuff, you need to get into position to call on the name of Jehovah. You got to come into the place where God is speaking to you, where God is releasing things to you. Why? Because those hands are pure. Those hands are holy. Those hands are righteous. You know, you can't get to the point where you always call yourself being mad at God. You find one scripture in the Bible because God didn't do what you said uh, uh, What you said he said he would do. Uh, which I'll say that again. What you said he said he would do when you said he said he would do it. huh? You got the nerve to be angry with God. And you want to get a bunch of people like you or a bunch of people are listening with you being angry with God. But how about God turning that stuff around? How about God turning that stuff around uh, like he's done for people in the past. Oh, Shabbat. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So it behooves us to check out ourselves. You need to know who your thief is around you. But let me tell you something. Those thieves and those people that are accumulating stuff, guess what? They're not going to enjoy it. So guess what? Don't be looking at the people that are married. Don't be looking at the people that got this, that, and the other. Let me tell you something. They already got their reward for, you know, because you, you need to know that God said, listen, the record shows that he could afford and, and, and send his disciples out to buy anything he needed in his supplies. Jesus always had the money, huh? Uh, for his disciples were going away unto the city to buy meat. John 4 and 8. Oh, Shabbat. No, no, no. See, and, 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 and now the coat was without seams and woven from the top throughout. And, 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 and they said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be. John uh, 19, 23, and 24. I'm telling you right now, God has a plan for you. He said, listen, uh, Herod uh, stewards and, and summons and many others, which ministered unto him of their substance, Luke uh, uh, 8, and 2, and 3. Let me say, notice, notice one thing. Notice one thing. Jesus didn't fire Judas. Oh, Shabbat. And I'm telling you right now, today, the same wealth, the same principle that God is, 
given us in the word today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God has not forgotten about you, my sister, my brother. I tell you right now, I'm praying right now for the entrepreneur and for the wealth of God to come over all of you under the sound of my voice. Listen, if you can, lift up those hands and come in agreement with me. Whatever you're listening to it, put your hands on it. I'm going to pray. Let me tell you something. I'm going to pray for your businesses. I'm going to pray that God create that, that businesses be birthed. Oh, Shabbat. I'm going to pray for witty inventions. I'm going to pray for the wealth, the endless wealth stream of God over you right now. And Father, I thank you for your listeners. I thank you for your people, Lord, under the sound of my voice. And Father, I first, I curse debt. Oh, Shabbat. I curse dependency on men. But I release, I release the principles of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. The substance of thy kingdom be upon every man, woman, boy, and girl under the sound of my voice. Father, I pray that businesses would be birthed, Lord, as you're turning the wealth over to us. I pray, Lord God, that witty inventions and ideals, Lord, would be turned over to us, Lord. I pray that land would be released to us with a harvest and the crops, oh Shabbat, with a commodity, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. Thank you, Messiah, for the entrepreneur. Thank you for the wealth of God reaching your people. Messiah, thank you, Father, for the favor of God. Messiah, thank you for the principle of thy kingdom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the confidence in you. Thank you for allowing us to listen and hear you, O Shabbat. And now, Father, release it over your people. Let it be so done today in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. It is so done for you, man, woman, boy, and girl. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, amen and amen. And we thank him. And we give his name glory. And we give his name honor. And we give his name praise. The wealth of God, the wealth of God turns over to you, man, woman, boy, and girl. Listen, the wealth of God, the wealth of God is for you. I love you all. I love you all so much. The wealth, the wealth, the wealth, the wealth of God, the favor of God, it is with you. Oh, bless his holy name. We bless the name of Jehovah. We bless the name of Jehovah. The wealth, the wealth of God is for you. I'm telling you, God's going to do it. God has not forgotten you. I'm telling you. And listen, if this message was a blessing to you, this is part seven. Listen, I tell you, all six of these uh, of these, uh, these parts, this segment, I tell you, it has been blessing me. Amen. As I get up and, and, and every time I'm, I'm speaking it, I'm telling you, I'm standing up closer and closer into this realm. Amen. I'm going closer and closer to the things of God. And so it's hitting me. And, I, and listen, I pray it hits every last one of you that will receive it. Amen. Listen, I'm telling you, God is going to do some great things in this time. But listen, he's going to do it like he did it in times past. There's nothing new under the sun. If he did it yesterday, he's going to do it today. But we have to put ourselves in a position. And what has happened is, you know, there's a key there's a key scripture, be in the world, but not of the world. And what has happened Happen is we brought the world into the things of God. And so things are a little mixed up right now for many of us, for many of you rather, or, or and us, amen, you know, myself included. But I thank God for, you know, for taking me out of that, amen, where you get, where you see the world, you know, through the eyes of Jehovah. So, not, you know, I'm not down in anybody. I see through the eyes of Jehovah, not where you are, but what you're going to become. God has a more excellent way. He has a better way for you. Amen. Amen. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging for food or bread. The scripture declares, listen, the righteous, the righteous have, huh? The righteous are the haves, not the have nots. Oh, Shabbat. Don't know, see. And, and, and guess what? Even, even those that, that are poor, that doesn't mean that they don't have, huh? No, what happens is, is God makes you the have so that you trickle that down and those that don't have begin to have. And that's the, that's what we're really talking about. We're talking about the ministries of help. Everybody helps somebody. Everybody helps somebody. And get that in your spirit. Amen. Uh, that, uh, Jason Brown gave that to me. Everybody helps somebody. Amen. And so we, we, uh, we, we, we're, we're, we're thankful for that. Now, listen, if this message was a blessing to you, listen, you know, I'm, I'm I thank you for staying with me 
Amen. If this message was a blessing to you, I need you to do me one favor. I need you to send this message to a friend. Amen. Send this message to a friend. And what I want you to do is I need you guys. And listen, I'm moving it up now. I First, I said 10. Now, I want everyone that would listen to me would listen to me and say, okay, uh, uh, Brother Zari, I'm going to help you, and I need your help. I need your help. I want you to send this to 100 people, this message. I mean, actually, all six of them to 100 people.